Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I am returning my MacBook Air, the 2018 model. So I went to the store and I got this. Now this guy over here is the 128 gigabyte model with the Core i5 processor. The cost of this thing is $1,200 plus tax. So if we go over here real quick, I'm going to show you a couple things. So let's uh, bring up the about this Mac. So this MacBook is the uh, i5. Uh, we've got 8 gigabytes of RAM. We've got the Intel graphics. And if you go to the storage, uh, this is the 120 gigabyte model, but we only have 90 gigabytes usable space. And there's nothing on this guy right now. Now, there's a couple things I love about this MacBook. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the actual product. It's a high quality product. It's got a nice premium finish. It's got good keys. Uh, it's got a touch ID fingerprint sensor. It's got a bunch of ports. You have a USB Type-C port here, one and two. And then over here, uh, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But other than that, you have nothing on this laptop. And you also have a very large trackpad. So overall, it's a fantastic package. Now, when you shut it down, again, nice, smooth, premium finish. Comes in a nice case as well. And then when you lift it up, what I like about these uh, MacBooks in general is when you lift it up, the, the bottom chassis does not lift up. The screen just goes up uh, seamlessly. So anyway, why am I returning this laptop even though I happen to like it? Now, before I do that, let me show you one more thing. Let me just lock this up. Uh, I do want to show you the fingerprint sensor. So here's a fingerprint sensor. All right, so let me uh, use a fingerprint sensor. I'm going to tap my finger here, and it's going to quickly unlock the laptop. All right, it's right there. Uh, instant unlock works flawlessly. It's right over here. So like I said, my overall impressions of the product are positive. Uh, but the problem that I have with it is the price. So this thing is $1,200, comes with i5 processor, and it's actually a mobile i5. It's not like a regular i5 with four cores. It only has two cores, eight gigs of RAM, and a measly 128 gigabytes of storage, okay? Now, in comparison, in comparison, what I have over here is an HP Spectre laptop. Now, these things go on sale consistently. Uh, this one over here, I got it for $1,100 plus tax, all right? Now, let me tell you what it has. It has a 4K screen, so that monitor is a 4K screen, and that's Retina. This one has 512 gigabytes of storage, all right? This one has 128. This, was, uh, this one has an i7 processor. It has an i7 processor that has four cores. And of course, not only does it have a fingerprint sensor right over here, it has a fingerprint sensor. It's got a volume rocker. Uh, we have two USB Type-C ports. Uh, we have got an HDMI out port. And on the other side, what we have is uh, we have a USB Type, uh, regular USB port. Uh, this is the power button and of course the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so it also has 16 gigabytes of ram so let me show you that really quickly so if we go over here uh, to my pc let me just type that in my pc this pc uh, if we go over here and tap on properties so we have like i said we have the uh i7 8550u cpu uh, we have 16 gigabytes of RAM. We've got the, um, and just so you know, it also comes with the HP pen. It's in the box. I haven't pulled the pen out yet, but the box is uh, actually comes with a pen and a case. All right. So let me just put this up real quick. So all that, all that, including the fingerprint sensor is $1,100. This one over here is $1,200. Looks nice. All right. Uh, it's very portable, very thin but it's $1,200. This one here is so much better as far as the specs are concerned, and it's $1,100. Now, I got this on sale. The regular price of this guy is $1,500 or $600, uh, but you can get the smaller version for around $1,000 without any sales uh, with 512 gigs of uh, storage, 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, and of course, an i7 processor. And let's not forget, these guys have touchscreen. So this thing doubles up as a, as, a, as a tablet. Okay, so it's a 360 product. You can flip it over and it turns into a tablet. And one more thing I, I forgot to show you guys is uh, on top of having a touch ID sensor, uh, if I go over here and I try to lock this, okay, one second, let me just uh, lock this 
Let's lock it up real quick. It actually has uh, a face scanner. So if I was, if I came over here, it's good to go. Just saw my face. I can just go right into the actual home screen. Oops. Actually, the phone, the phone is the camera is blocking the face. So let me just use the fingerprint sensor. So boom, I just tapped it and went right inside. Okay, so it's got a fingerprint sensor and a face unlock, and it's got i7. It's got double the RAM of this guy, 16 gigs. Uh, it's got four times the storage, and it is a uh, $1,100 plus tax. And again, like I said, you can get the smaller version of these guys even cheaper. And of course, it's got a gorgeous design, okay? There's no question that the HP Spectre uh, laptops are beautiful. Now, this one is also beautiful. There's no question about that. I might even prefer this over this as far as design is concerned. Uh, just maybe this, this might be 10 points. This might be 9 points. Uh, but still, for that amount of money, for everything that you're getting... Uh, this design is, of course, uh, very, very acceptable. Uh, like I said, it, it takes, gets a 9 out of 10, and this one takes a 10 out of 10. Now, the reason I'm giving this a 10 is because when you lift this up, the screen goes up. All right? Uh, when you lift this up, the screen does not go up. You do have to put your hand at the bottom to actually pull it. As you can see, it's getting lifted. So you have to put your uh, finger at the bottom here your hand at the bottom here to pull the screen entirely up. Uh, so that's why this one gets a 10, that one gets a 9 when it comes to design. But other than that, guys, uh, by the way, also comes with the pen, so you can draw on it. Uh, and very precisely, by the way, just as precise as the S Pen uh, on the Tab S4 or the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pros. And of course, you get a free case that's in the box. So you get the case, the pen, the laptop for $1,100, better specs. With this one, you get nothing. You just get the laptop and you pay $1,200 for the lower specs. And of course, even when it comes to the benchmarks, this one is going to be uh, much slower than this guy. Remember, this is an i7, 4 cores, 16 gigabytes. This one is an i5, 2 cores, 8 gigabytes. So the, uh, the uh, benchmarks are going to be better uh, than this. So if you are in the market to buy a laptop, I want you guys to go and check out the HP laptops just in case you can get, get a better deal on a higher spec product. Now, if you have to have a Mac, then I can't argue with you. You have to get a Mac, then you have to get a Mac. But if you're in the market shopping between MacBooks and Windows laptops, then I want you guys to look at the HP Spectres. And you can get the smaller versions that are much more lighter and portable than, than this guy. Now, this guy, I think, is five pounds. Uh, but the 13-inch the, the, the model of this guy is like 3 or 2.5 pounds, which is uh, in, in the ballpark of this guy. So that's going to make it more portable, and it's going to be even cheaper than this guy. All right? So that was just a quick video uh, regarding the MacBook, uh, why I am going to return this. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, again, if I was invested in the uh, Apple's ecosystem, I would probably stay with this guy despite the price premium. But I'm not. I'm in the market to get a laptop that I'll be using to type, to research, uh, and stuff like that. So this one makes much more sense at a low price tag and higher specs. And of course, I'm going to drop links below to both of these laptops so you can go check it out. I want you guys to compare the specs and see which one is more desirable. It's kind of obvious as far as specs are concerned, but I'm going to drop the links down below. Now, one thing that I do want to quickly show you is if I come over here, now this is the case for the HP, so it's uh, almost open here. Now, if you go in here, uh, it actually comes with a nice uh, sleeve for the actual laptop. So this is not something you can get. This is not something you get with the, uh, with the Apple products. In fact, in the box, you get only the, uh, the charger and the cable and the and the laptop with this one you're getting a nice carrying sleeve which is going to protect your laptop at no extra cost because it comes in the box and also if I go over here uh, there's another thing over here let me just see if I can pull this out okay so this one is right here and if you open this up inside here we have an HP pencil which is right over here Okay, so this thing is 100% free and it's got the same kind of capabilities and even more uh, than the Apple Pencils for the iPads or even the S Pens for the Tab S4s. All right, so you get all this stuff with the purchase of $1,100.
uh, you're getting so much more. Again, if you're a student, if you're somebody in the market uh, shopping for a laptop, look at other laptops on the market before you commit to a MacBook. Uh, don't, get, don't get just uh, seduced by its uh, simplicity. You might need all these extra things. All right. And of course, for anybody that's wondering what it looks like, that case, that's what it looks like. It even has a uh, an area here where you can actually stick that pencil in. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you do have any comments, questions, concerns, drop them down below and have a fantastic day.